everyone. I'm here with Joni Roberts, CMO of Ribbon Communications. How are you doing, Joni? Great, great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for taking some time to speak with us today. So um, could you give us a little bit of a background about where you've been in your career so far you and what you're doing at Ribbon? You bet. Well, I'm excited to be at Ribbon, their new CMO as of last year. I've been in the industry for almost 30 years. I started in the uh, mid 90s before there was Google, before <laughs> there was the internet. So I've been around a while. So you've seen a lot of changes in the industry. I have, I have, and, and especially at shows like this one. Exactly, I'm sure you've seen a lot of transformation at Mobile World Congress specifically. Um, so this year, what are some key themes you're seeing? What are some of your customers most interested in talking about? What are you guys seeing here? You bet, you bet. Well, I think one of the key themes that we're seeing here certainly is AI, yes. right? <laughs> and uh, across the board, that's a key theme that I think everyone's evangelizing. Um, and we're excited because we're, we're part of that technology and transformation as well with our automation AI um, product that we're yeah. sharing and demoing here as well. Yeah, that's exciting. So what are some of the things that your customers are bringing to your attention and wanting to discuss here? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, certainly, you know, voice modernization mm -hmm. and network transformation, which yes. is certainly something that we're experts in. Another area that we do really well and an industry expert is Intelligent Middle Mile, which uh, is a, yeah. uh, a lot of our customers are asking about how that works, and so that's been exciting to share that. And we even have equipment that we have in the uh, demo booth here. Oh, exciting. I can't wait to check that out more. Um, so last year when we were here, we talked to one of your colleagues about expanding connectivity and making it more ubiquitous for rural communities, underserved communities. Um, what are your thoughts on that and what are you seeing now in the industry in that regard? Yeah, yeah, well, we're excited to be part of that and mm -hmm. part of that process in uh, North America. Yeah. And in fact, that space for Ribbon uh, almost increased 100% last year. Wow. So we're actively involved with a lot of our rural uh, areas and that could be tribal or smaller utilities. And uh, we're excited to see some of that funding that's coming through the uh, government. Yes. And we're excited to see the funding in the future through, for example, BEAD, which we'll probably start seeing uh, distributions next year. So we're, we, we partner with a lot of great partners in North America. And um, it's more than just connectivity. It really has a huge impact on people's lives. Absolutely. Who live, um, you know, rural, it could be medical. Mm -hmm. There's uh, schools or municipalities. So it, it's, it's a great, great um, initiative. Yeah, absolutely. It really is bolstering societies as a whole and mm -hmm. economies and, and all of that. So that's fantastic you guys are involved in that. Um, as a female in the tech industry, I wanted to ask you with Women's International Day coming up next week. Yes, <laughs> next week, yeah. Yeah, um, can't believe it's March already. Um, what are some of the things um, that you've seen change in throughout your career in tech yeah. regarding women in the industry? Do you have any advice for women? Also, I hear you guys won an award in, in, this, in this area, so we could did. you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, well, that's a great question and, and uh, to kind of approach that. So over the last 30 years, I've seen uh, tremendous changes and generally for the better, which is great. Yeah. And we certainly need more women um, in the industry, and it really starts with STEM, you know, in yes. high school and junior high and promoting along those lines mm -hmm. and then throughout college. So, you know, we uh, here at Ribbon, um, our DEI initiatives are very important to not only us, but our CEO, mm -hmm. Bruce Mullen Pollen, as well as our um, CLO. Uh, we're, we huge champions for diversity within Ribbon. So we're very excited to win the Newsweek Award. Yeah, uh, congratulations. I think thank you, it's well deserved. <laughs> yeah. And it's something very passionate to my heart. Um, you know, the advice again is just for women, you know, to apply for roles that are more technical, right? Mm, yes. And, um, and, you know, keep expanding that, those horizons and go outside of the traditional gender roles that I think um, over the years that we've, uh, we feel more comfortable applying to, so. Absolutely, we, yeah, I attended a, a women's networking event yesterday here at Mobile World Congress and one of the speakers said something poignant which was, do something that pushes you out of your comfort zone, yes. you know, always be learning, always push yourself and yes. just approach everything with authenticity and 
be yourself and push yourself and yes. that's a way to drive women forward in this industry, I think. Yeah, so. yeah, and it is, I once read um, an interesting article where women will apply for jobs where they think they're 90 to 100% qualified. Yes, exactly. And then men will apply for jobs where they're, they think they're 60% right. qualified. Mm -hmm. And you know, really, again, put, push yourself out of your comfort zone and um, I think that's great advice for all women. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Joni. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you.